my god! Oh my OMG, that's even better than compared to the original Nintendo guys! Jesus Christ! You can subscribe to my channel by just hitting the subscribe button here and then of course also you can turn on the notification so that every time I upload a new video you're gonna get notified. Guys, finally the wait is over. Official Citra for Android releases as the first mobile Nintendo 3DS emulator. And yes, this might not be news to you because it has been around since a lot of time. The Citra team has been working to get this emulator on the Android devices and there have been some better APKs and etc. But right now, several hours ago, finally, this application, the Citra emulator for Android, so it's a Nintendo 3DS emulator, finally was released on the Google Play Store. Right, and again, if you're not really into emulation, etc., you might not know, but Nintendo 3DS has a very strong lineup of one of the best games ever released for the Nintendo platform, and it's here after so many years. And the Switch people are still playing Nintendo 3DS and 3DS XL and 2DS and etc. And I myself, right, I myself, as a renowned collector, do own a lot of those devices. I'm gonna show you later, guys, what I want to do today is run one of my games on the OnePlus 7 Pro because it requires a very nice powerful phone. Actually the team, the Citra team recommends that you at least you know have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 as you can see here. So this is the like the starting point and they don't really recommend Samsung Exynos and also the Kirin devices. Not from Huawei. I myself have the OnePlus 7 Pro with the Snapdragon 855 and I won't be running the Mario Kart 7 on my phone and also on my new Nintendo 3DS XL which is the holy grail with the top IPS screen. I'm yet to find one that has also bottom IPS screen guys. But this is really huge success and there are really a lot of features into this emulator. But okay, let's directly go and start Mario Kart 7 on the Nintendo 3DS XL, the new one, and also on the OnePlus 7 Pro and see how this works together. Without any further ado, guys, I'm gonna be starting the game, like I promised, both on my new Nintendo 3DS XL here, the Holy Grail with the top IPS screen, and my OnePlus 7 Pro rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, which pretty much should be sufficient, I hope, to play the Mario Kart 7. All right, guys, so let's just press A on both devices, okay? Okay, I'm gonna be choosing single player, obviously, here, waiting just for the Mario 7 to start. Okay, now we have the same thing, guys. So let's press single player here. Okay, and guys, now here we have the Grand Prix. Let's choose here both Grand Prix. So I'm pressing Grand Prix on the Nintendo and Grand Prix also on my phone, right? Now we pretty much can see already we have the same graphics. Now, guys, something I need to say, I wanna make a disclaimer. There are a lot of settings on the emulator, you can change the resolution, you can apply some custom shades and reshades and whatever, but probably you need to pay because most of the premium features of course require you to unlock the full potential of the C3 emulator. Right now I'm just using the free version, but I just want to see how it goes and if I like it maybe I'm going to buy it and also do like another full review, but right now we just want to see how this compares and behaves with the original, right guys? And you can see also I have removed here the 3D. Oh my god, you see this goodness? Now you cannot see it guys, but one of my all-time favorite consoles, the Nintendo, new Nintendo 3DS XL. All right, so I'm going here to choose 150cc. I'm pretty much gonna do the same here, okay? You can see all moving smooth. Now, if you are not really familiar with the Nintendo 3DS, you need to understand that you have a top screen pretty much looking and playing at the game and then you have a bottom screen which is also part of the game, so different controls, different menus. Very nice console and idea guys and of course it's handheld so you can just clap it like that. Here we have the top screen here and the bottom screen is presented on the right, okay? You can use it uh, when you drive your car to see the map. You're gonna see it right now together with me. Alright, so let's press here a button, press here a button again. Now we have to choose our car and I'm gonna be choosing the very same exact models guys to make sure that there are no surprises. So, of course, it's Mario Kart, so I'm gonna go and choose Mario. By the way, what we directly see here guys is that the resolution is not so good compared to what we have on the original device, but again, this can be changed. Right now, I just wanna run it as is, as my first test to the Citra Android 3DS emulation, okay. Now let's try to press uh, A here, okay? I wanna try to see if I can change somehow the car, okay? Let's select Mario here, guys. Okay, now we're gonna be selecting 
uh, okay tires and the car so let's I just want to go for the very same car guys and the very same tires. so if we go here on the tires okay we're probably gonna go oops and I just try to make okay no not here okay yeah I think it's about the same all right okay guys we are now rocking the very same setup the super glider so same tire same card press a press a and okay guys i'm gonna be trying to start this at the same time so let's just press a on both devices and then we have game press ok one more time so pressing a button all right see who will roll first is it the 3ds or the oneplus 7 pro we have a winner here all right cool jesus that's so exciting guys I never thought that this would be possible, you know. I am into emulation, guys. I do own Sony PSP, Sony PS Vita, the Nintendo 2DS, 3DS, new 3DS, XL. I have the uh, Sony PlayStation Portable, which I use, you know, to play games and etc. Uh, and I have, of course, my Raspberry Pi to do all kind of other emulation, but that's really very, very good, guys. All right, let's see. Okay. Not bad at all. It does work, guys. Let's just try play a little bit here. Okay, now I'm just doing a test, very playable, by the way, I'm really surprised, you know, although again, it's not the same graphics, guys, there are no hiccups, no glitches whatsoever, so it's very, very smooth, all right? Let me just show how this works here on the real stuff, guys, okay? All right, yeah, the real stuff feels better, man, if you have it in the hands. But you see what I mean? The experience is pretty much about the same, guys, and the animation and etc are very very close now let me just try to do a flip here Woo! what a paraglider yes okay i crashed all right let's try to do it here guys so far i will say 100 percent thumbs up for the citra team really enormous work guys i'm not sure if you can just understand this but yeah just emulating this on your android device can open a lot of doors for you and a lot of windows right okay all right, cool. Now, guys, something we want to also do, probably just see if we can change the resolution now on the stock settings. So let me just go for a second back to the home, all right? Just want to kill the sound. By the way, let me just pump the sound, guys. See? Sound is very, very nice again. Sometimes this is the problem with this up. Okay, we had a, like a first glitch, all right? Sometimes this... All right, definitely there is a kind of like a glitch with the sound and that's actually what I want to say guys sometime with emulation you know sound is suffering and again I'm having really like 20 years experience of playing emulated games you know oh my god okay yeah now it wasn't 100% smooth okay we made a jump here wasn't 100% smooth guys but they do recommend for the fruit extras to really rock the latest Snapdragon Qualcomm 865 which of course I don't have guys yet but you know, very, very playable, guys. Okay, what I want to do is just let's try to quit the game. Maybe just spend some time, guys, on seeing some of the options and seeing if I'm able to kind of like changing the resolution here. So here we have the Citra emulator, guys. And when you start it, right, when you start it, you're going to present it with your game. So you need, of course, to own the games for the Nintendo. And then you can use some software to decrypt them into 3DS files and load them here but let's go to settings very briefly so apparently here on the premium when you buy premium guys you're going to be able to change the themes like light and dark but then also apply texture filter and then you can enhance you know your visuals by applying filters so i guess that's the real deal guys in the system settings you can apparently select the region that is emulated the emulated language system clock type and etc all right then you have also camera because you know this device has a camera and it can probably emulate this as well all right so but we're not interested in that right now gamepad okay you can apparently change the layout of the gamepad now the original device guys yeah i mean that's a masterpiece you know it's a piece of art guys here all right let's just go back here and then we have graphics so very important internal resolution specifies the resolution used to render at a high resolution will improve visual quality a lot but it's also quite heavy on performance and may cause glitches in certain games and you know what i want to try this so the default resolution of course is 1x 
let's see guys if we can crank it up to 4x and I'm just eager to start the game again. We have enable linear filtering here, which causes game visuals to appear smoother, which already was enabled and then also asynchronous GPU emulation, but enable accurate shader multiplication was not enabled. So use more accurate multiplication hardware shaders, which may fix some graphical bugs. All right, when you enable this, the performance will be reduced. Let's go and do this, guys, and let's start the game again because I'm just eager to understand how the game will look with this. Oh, oh, I have a feeling, oh my God. When we cranked up the resolution four times, I think, right? Oh my God, the visuals now and the graphics. Yeah, is it better? I kind of think so, especially here. On the second screen, which is like the bottom screen. Oh, definitely better, definitely better, but yeah. I don't think that the OnePlus 7 Pro can, oh my God, you see, this is amazing. This is amazing, guys, but sadly, it will set you back on the 855, probably need a better, yeah, quicker sock, mm, yeah, thought so. Anyway, let's try to still run the game, guys, and then we're gonna get it up to 3x, 2x, probably try to find a sweet spot. Now, 1x resolution emulation, almost like 90% rocking fuel. Oh my God. Oh my, OMG, that's even better than compared to the original Nintendo, guys. Jesus Christ. You look at this here. This is insane. Insane, I can tell you. All right. Oh, he's rocky. Oh, wow. Flip on them tires. I'm so excited, guys. Wow, you know what? It, it, I'm really, I'm really flabbergasted, guys. It does really work, not 100%, but maybe, maybe if I get a little bit down, and maybe if I just tweak a little bit the phone, oh my god, no. I would say it's like 60% workable, okay? No major glitches so far. Okay, one glitch here, because I took something like a speed pill, whatever. This is really amazing. Citra team, you are the best guys. Oh my God. Let's go for the jump. This is really amazing. Let's try to compare. I mean, this this really looks better than the original guys. You see one? Let me just show you guys. That's the original, right? You see the pixels? Now, the top screen here again is the IPS. Um, originally, most of the Nintendo 3DS's, like the new Nintendo 3DS's, which have better 3D effect, they have been shipped out with TN screens, guys. And it took me, I think months of searching, scraping eBay and etc. And I think I bought like seven of those devices until I got one that at least has like the top screen to be IPS. And this makes a huge difference because just see here, just see here guys, all right? Just see the quality of this screen compared to this screen. This screen here is TN, this screen here is IPS, all right? But that's not what we're speaking about here today. The star really is Citro emulation. I did crank up the resolution guys four times. Maybe if you're gonna go to three times, it's gonna get a little bit better. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I'm really impressed. I'm gonna be testing some more games, of course, the ones that I own. 100% respect to the Citra team, guys. I probably also will concern, cut. I probably will also consider to buy the application and support the guys. Again, enormous work has been put down to get this in our hands the way it is. And again, native emulation of 3DS games opened really the door for some very, very nice evenings ahead, I guess, all right? Boom! And with that said, guys, I do really hope that you like my videos. I put a lot of efforts making those videos, guys, and I only do videos about stuff that I do care, and I hope that you can see this. So if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Have a very nice weekend, guys, and with that said, VST over and bye. And I have to throw, you know, I throw things at the end of my video, so I'll throw the Nintendo 3DS cover. Boom!